on a high level as a business analyst which documents you're gonna create or update or maintain so let's have a look on that very first is business requirement document that is nothing but brd this is nothing but a very high level requirement from your business or stakeholder in short we can say that this document focuses on what the business want you create this document at the early stage of your project and you create this document for business stakeholders sponsors and high level management now there is functional requirement document that is nothing but f rd here you specifically uh, describe how your system is gonna behave it includes all the functional requirements once your brd get approved you initial uh, initialize this document and the audience for this document is developers quality analyst and a product team after that you there is a non-functional requirement document that is nothing but nfr when you are discussing frd at the same time you define you discuss uh, this uh, nfr document uh, this is nothing but uh, the description of your system attributes like your system performance security and all that stuff you create this document for system architect developers and operations after that uh, there is a document named use case document here you describe the state by step interaction between your user and system uh, for achieving a specific goal uh, while having or while creating a functional requirement document you have a discussion for this document as well the audience for this document is developers quality analyst and ui ux team after that it's user stories it is nothing but a short simple description of your user requirement from user perspective mostly in agile environment you create user stories uh, uh, while planning or grooming session you create user stories the audience for this document is developers scrum master and product owner the process flow diagram uh, here you give the visual representation of your business flow uh, during as is a uh, process analysis you create this document and audience for this document is stakeholders developers and testers after that is gap analysis whenever you want to find out the difference between your current that is as a system and desired that is to be system you create this document uh, you create this document at the early phase of the system upgrade or the project the audience for this document will be like uh, business stakeholders project sponsors after that it's rtm that is nothing but a requirement traceability matrix after finalizing all this doc all, all the requirements you create rtm uh, here you map each of your requirement with the corresponding design development and testing component the audience for this document is ba qa and project manager after that is stakeholder analysis at the beginning of project you create this document in this document you describe all the details about your stakeholders like their interests influence and all that stuff 